Hi, this is Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I want to talk about running Pro Tools without an iLock. Now, if you're watching this hoping to use Pro Tools without paying for it, then stop watching it now, because that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is how to run Pro Tools without a physical iLock. Starting with Pro Tools version 2018.1, you can now use Pro Tools without the physical iLock by using the iLock Cloud. It's very straightforward to use, and I'll show you how you use it. And one of the benefits, of course, which I'm loving at the moment, is I've got Pro Tools on my laptop, and I've got Pro Tools on my studio machine we're looking at now, and I've removed it from my iLock physical and put it back into my account so that wherever I want to use Pro Tools, as long as I have an internet connection, then I can get on to Pro Tools without having to worry about my physical iLock being plugged in the machine. Now, one thing people will say, well, what if you lose the internet? Well, so I'm gonna recommend, if you record bands in jungles, on airplanes or on the moon, then this isn't gonna work for you. Or if you live in a place, quite seriously, that has a bad connection, then this isn't gonna work for you. But for most of us, then most of us have internet connectivity all the time. For goodness sake, most of us are on Facebook and Twitter all day. So if you can do that, you can do this. I've opened my iLock License Manager. I've gone to Available. If I go to Pro Tools, as you could see, I've got a lot of licenses. You can see I have my Pro Tools HD subscription bundle there. What I want to make sure is that that's available up in the cloud. It's not sitting anymore on my physical iLock. And you can see that's in my available. And then I can look on my actual iLock as well. As I say, 200 activations plus. And Pro Tools is no longer sitting there. So the first thing to do is get it off your physical iLock and put it back. So basically, go into your account and deactivate it back to your server. That won't remove it. It will just take it off the physical iLock and put it back up in here, which then gives you all your available activations. That's all you need to do. We'll look at the license manager again in a minute. Then when you come to launch Pro Tools on any machine, if the physical iLock isn't present, the first thing Pro Tools will tell you is that it's not going to work. Your subscription has expired. So we go to continue, and it says they've all expired, and you go activate, activate again, then you put in your license ID here. I tick remember me, because I'm doing this on both machines, and it would get tiresome to keep doing it. Go next, and it opens a cloud session. And that means basically, as long as you're working on this machine, and you don't close the cloud session, then it will work. And there we have, the Pro Tools session now running without a physical eye lock. Now, what you can do, you don't need to do this, is you can manually turn it back off the cloud if you want to, and basically just close your cloud session. Go to File, Close Cloud Session, and it's and it's closed, closed that session, which means it's available to other machines. What I will say is I've never had to do that. If I jump between my two machines, it basically kicks my other machine out so I can start working on this. There you go. That's how to run Pro Tools using iLock Cloud. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.